Hear me, I said I'm on a Niger boy representing for King Mix Up, the number one source for the latest in dancehall entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know. <laughs> Bless. Hope I'm having a wonderful day today, but just a few topics we we'll want to get into. You see me, I say, and the people on the screen and not on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch the end so you don't miss a thing. And with that being said, let's just kick it off with Jada Kingdom because Homegirl has gone viral again, as you can see. Burna boy money looks good on Jada Kingdom because homegirl is glowing in a magnificent way. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, the people now chat about that they are talking about her lips. Yes, they seem to be extra plump all of a sudden. You see, man, as, uh, as you know, these people out here know every inch of Jada Kingdom's body. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna lie to you when I first saw the video on her IG story. Her lips did look different to me, you know what I mean? It stuck out, you see me, I said. But I really didn't pay too much attention because, you know, these girls be doing lip loss and all of these stuff to plump up them ting and ting, you know what I mean? And, you know, these IG filters and all of these stuff. But taking a look at the comment section, um, the people them say, you know, she kind of messed up this time. I don't know what they're talking about, you know, Jada Kingdom definitely looking like money right now you know <laughs> but besides that when i officially um you know was looking at her lips i'm like damn burner boy ramo jada mode man you see me say because you know it was his birthday the other day and these are some old pics of jada kingdom so they can't do the comparison if you don't want real quick but yeah you know jada kingdom you know burner boy flew her out to amsterdam to you know help blow his candle out, you know what I mean? You're celebrating his birthday. So me think say uh, at that they poof up our lips. You see me say, but putting that in the comment section, what do you think? Um do you think it's allergic reaction or you know, spider bite or mosquito? You know, I don't know, you know what I mean? I'm no doctor, I'm just a messenger. You feel me? So let's proceed to the next. Now renowned record producer Kamar McGregor um is seeing the comments out there. You know what I mean? And he wants to know why Una always trying to diminish his accomplishments. You feel me? Um, if you go check out Wikipedia, you can see the extensive list of people that he worked with in TV shows. He's been on in America and all of these things. You know what I mean? And you know most, well, I want to say his famous song, but we know Queen Africa that he did tear up Jamaica a certain way. You know what I mean? And I'm putting in the comment section how much of a problem that song was. So we know he's a good producer. You see me, I say, and always working with the ladies, them, and, you know, trying to spread a positive message. You know what I mean? But, you know, after working with some artists, you know, he feels like, you know what I mean, him not trust artists them certain ways, you know, because even though they might be good, but them still, you know, do him bad. You feel me? And screw him over. So let's just take a quick listen to what he's saying. And then we proceed with the next. Realize that the that no, I wouldn't say the entire, but ninety nine percent of the reggae and dancehall industry, the people are very they they are uneducated, bad about the business, right? And I'm talking about dancehall and reggae. Ninety nine percent of the people are uneducated about the business. Let me let me say this. And listen carefully, and everyone on this. Line. So if you if you're a recording artist, right, and you don't you don't want to sign, right, an agreement with a producer or a record label or a manager. These are some tips. Don't ask the producer to invest his money on you, right? Because if a producer or a record label invests in an artist, it clearly it clearly means that they they have to be some form of insurance or something put in place if you want a producer or a record label or a manager to invest in your career as an artist. 
So a lot of the illiterate reggae and dancehall artists, this is what they want. They want producer, record label and manager to invest their money and time on them without no insurance, right? Which means that they want us to put them in cars, put them in apartment, buy them expensive clothes, do music video, do all these things for them verbally, right? And when their career take off, they're going to turn around, pardon my French, and say, fuck you. Because that's how reggae and dancehall artists is. They're very ungrateful and they're not loyal, right? Trust me. So for, for artists, if you don't want to sign an agreement with a producer, don't ask the producer to invest his money on you. Once a producer is going to invest or a record label is going to invest their money on you, there have to be some form of agreement, right? Okay, for example, for example, if you're going to borrow a loan, right? You go to the bank, you're going to borrow a loan or any one of these loan places. Or if you want an investor to invest in your career, right? First of all, the bank, if you're going to borrow some money, what are you going to put up, right? If you don't have a house or you don't have something of value or some form of asset, it's going to be very difficult for you to get a loan, right? <clears throat> so put it, put, yeah, so we're going to use that. So a lot of these artists, they don't understand, right, that when we invest our money and you no-name artists, Nobody in a known or nothing, right? We're taking we're taking chances, big risk of um spending millions of dollars on you guys. Not no, we there's we don't know if it's gonna work, but we do this for a lot of you. Invest our money in you guys and a lot of you. A lot of you don't wanna sign, but hear what happened. You guys quick to run to the internet to say a producer or a record label rip you guys off. Have you guys, have you ever, are you, I mean, let's be real. Not found a peak toilet artist and sorry for talk like that. Have you guys ever like really come on the internet and talk and tell the people the truth to say, hey, you know what, this producer have invested in me. You know, this manager of investing my career. Have you guys ever been honest about that? There's so much producer and good people in this music industry that invest in a lot of these artists' career. And they're very ungrateful. And what they do, they quick to go to social media to disrespect a producer or disrespect a manager or a musician to say they're a thief. Right? But what about our money that we spend on a lot of you. We feed on our clothes and we do everything for you. Right? I want to do. I want to just disloyal. Nothing about you know. And this is why a lot of record label, international and business, and businesses and managers international will never touch reggae and dancehall artists. And I will continue to promote that promote this international to a lot of the major companies and managers not to mess with a lot of reggae and dancehall artists because they're very unprofessional. I will continue to push that, to promote that. Me personally. I am a part of the international music community. I deal with all the majors every day. And I will continue to push that, to say no. Don't do business with reggae and dancehall artists. They're, they're not professional. So, yeah. So for the artists, then, if you don't want to sign anything with any producer or any record label or manager, etc., 
Don't ask them to spend their money on you. It's easy as that. So if you want to do a one-off single with a producer, this is what you should do as an artist. If you want to do some one-off single with a producer, just work out a regular agreement, regular contract to say, hey, I, you know, I, you, you produce a song with me. The royalties are going to split 50-50. The publishing gonna split, the publishing's gonna split fifty fifty. Yeah, he was definitely dropping some gems, you know what I mean? Um and most dance hall artists may not know them not in a contract business. I don't know what you feel what I'm saying. But it's definitely business and not personal. You see me what I'm saying it's definitely an investment and if you're investing your money then you're definitely going to want some insurance. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to upload a full video because you talked for about another 10 more minutes. Um, and we're going to upload that on the Dance House Story channel. You see me? Yeah, we're putting out the comment section if you agree on um, what he was saying so far. Yeah, let's proceed to the mix. Okay, people, just a quick reminder because, you know, we broke the news over here that Ivani is having a baby girl. Yes, Ice is a baby girl. You see me? And she showed some more of the sonograms pictures with you know the you know what i mean but i also included in that video um a girl that i'm following on instagram you know showing how her pregnancy <laughs> went unnoticed uh, you know them say ivani belly fake and all of these things and this girl showed you you know her belly uh, all the way to the nine months and you know it pff, well you gotta go to the credible boss channel to see while well, guan from not to guan Anyway, let's proceed. And now Dance Hall Queen Spice is in the headlines again once again. She is trending. You see me, I say, ah, you know she's been trending for my day, yeah, you know. But no, they ask them out. I say she get new man. Yeah, and they're asking me if she and Flo Rider is a thing. As you know, I'm just a messenger and, you know, I, I really didn't see it, you know what I mean? But if I was supposed to go along with the narrative... It kind of does uh, make sense, you know what I mean? Because you know Spice like the light skin thing them, you know what I mean? And you know Rasta was just for the script, you know, the storyline and all of these stuff. You see what i But as you can see, the people them have their mind made up. As you can see, the sender said them to the uh, F, you know. She definitely F them. And I said, who flow ready? Because obviously there's two men in the video. And we know Ratami just had a baby the other day. Well, his girl just had a baby the other day, so I doubt he's smashing her. You know what I mean? Um, but it is what it is. We know all three of them got a musical track together, and they are promoting it, obviously. You see me? Uh, so, uh, so we're just out here, you know, promoting <laughs> the song. Anyway, people, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we are dropped the latest. Bless.